everybody, Mike Rick Williams, upstairs to the Ride Music Channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to join in today with us. A little bit of housekeeping as usual. Please watch this. Upstairs to the Ride Music has released a new album with our in-house band Asinoki, titled Ants in the Pantry. Support this channel by going to bandcamp.com and buy your copy today. So here we have a Squire Affinity from 2001, all stock, everything stock still on this. And here we have a 2000 Squire SE Special, also all stock, everything's still original to that, except for in this case, it's missing its neck. Now, one of the wonderful things about these SE models is the fact that these have full bodies to them. This is a full strat, full thickness strat body, whereas uh, Affinities and Bullets uh, have a thinner uh, body to them, about three to four millimeters difference between those, especially here in the bout. Now, you can see that difference if you look at them from above, whereas this contour is a lot more thinner than it is over here. So, that's one thing that's a little bit of a difference. So, there's a difference in woods here. This is made out of outer, and this one is not. But other than that, uh, these are both Squire bodies that were made in the early 2000s. So, what we're going to do here today is we're going to swap necks. Uh, since this one, I bought it uh, relative, and by the way, both of these guitars, I bought this complete for $84. I bought this body here for $60 US. So really inexpensive guitars here, but I think you're going to be really impressed with what you can get for this little bit of money out of Squire Strats. So first, let's take a listen to the Squire Affinity and see how that sounds in the four uh, position. We'll do the same over here with the SE once we swap necks. Also, let's just take a listen uh, to see if that full body uh, strat makes a difference over this slightly thinner body. Again, there's about three to four millimeters difference between the thickness of these two bodies. Does that make a sonic difference? Both of these are loaded with ceramic pickups. By the way, they're original ceramic pickups from the early 2000s. So it's about uh, an even uh, thing there in terms sonically as that's uh, going to not really play a big part in this. What's going to play a big part in it really does that thickness of the wood uh, play a part in the overall tone of a Strat. Also, after we get done with that, we'll talk a little bit about why these SE models are so awesome and why these are getting harder to find. These are a modder's dream. But first, let's take a listen to the Squire of Strat from 2001, this Affinity, and see how it sounds. <laughs> So I have done the neck swap from the 2001 Affinity uh, Stratocaster to the 2000 uh, SE Squire Stratocaster. And this is how it came out. So this is the uh, 2001 Affinity neck on the 2000 uh, Squire SE special body. And uh, I have to say... Um, it is quite good looking. I like the way that it looks. Uh, it actually is quite similar, uh, quite in fact, uh, if Squire came out with their version of a 1972 uh, Stratocaster, it would really look just like this. It would be identical actually uh, from the body uh, color pick guard color, headstock, everything identical to that. Uh, it's interesting that with their Classic Vibe series, uh, that their Classic Vibe 70s uh, didn't come out in this color. Uh, I always found that interesting, or not that I have seen uh, to my eye here in Europe. Maybe in America they had that color available, but not here. Um, 
and uh, we'll get back to that classic vibe in a minute, but let's take a listen to this guitar. Uh, let's see how it sounds stacked up against, you've heard uh, the 2001 Affinity, same neck. Uh, had to make a couple adjustments. By the way, it went on very smoothly. Uh, there's about a one millimeter gap here, but that's because of the neck uh, down here at the heel size. Uh, but other than that, uh, it fit perfectly. The plate went on perfectly. The screws went in smoothly. Uh, it was no problem. A couple adjustments that I had to make, uh, intonation things, and uh, it is ready to go. So uh, let's take a listen to it. Let's hear how it sounds. Um, I think that uh, you're going to be quite uh, surprised by the chime that this one has. So let's take a listen. <laughs> As I was saying, this very much well looks like a 1972 Stratocaster. And uh, as I said, the classic Vibe series that came out uh, around 2019 uh, that uh, Squire did uh, featured a classic Vibe 70s guitar. It had the 70s headstock, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, I actually grew up uh, with 70s headstocks and, I, and I, I dig it over the 60s or the 50s myself, actually or the ones you get today. Uh, it is my favorite headstock. Uh, they had a version of that. Uh, now those retail around 400, let's just say approximately $400 US. You can get a classic Vibe Strat right now. Well, with the, the classic Vibe 70 Strat. Uh, if you want to get a full body uh, Strat uh, with that 70s headstock like this one, uh, that would be the way that you would have to go in order to make that happen. Now, I paid roughly $60 for this SE body, and uh, I paid uh, about $84 for the full body of the 2001 Affinity Strat. Uh, so, minus shipping, I'm in about $140 uh, for this guitar. Uh, now, uh, a classic vibe, as I just mentioned, will run you about $400. Uh, this guitar has a couple of things going over uh, a classic vibe uh, in a big way that I think you should be aware of. First of all, the fretboard on this is a rosewood fretboard, uh, keeping in mind that these days they use Indian laurel on their fretboards. So if you go to the, also if you go to the neck, uh, this is a way better quality uh, neck uh, maple that they were using 23 years ago when this was made as opposed to now. So a very also, pleasing outcome I would say by uh, making uh, that purchase of the body and the neck separately uh, from people who were you know uh, selling them at a significant discount I was able to put together a guitar that I think far exceeds uh, far punches above what I paid for it. Uh, this is a lovely Stratocaster that I think uh, for sure not I think I know is on par with a made in Mexico one uh, plus having the advantage of being 20 years old, over 20 year old parts of the neck and the body, uh, it just rings. It just rings like you would find uh, any older guitar because that wood has dried up and it's got a great tone to it. All right, I want to thank you so much for taking the time to stick in all the way to the end and watch this video about uh, switching necks and uh, the sound of these guitars in general from that early 2000 era. If you haven't done yet, please take the time to hit the subscribe button. Also, if you like the contents of today's video, hit the like button. Uh, we have uh, people who have supported this channel by buying our record that we've released. Asanoki is the name of the band. The album is Ants in the Pantry. There's a list here at the end that I'd like to put up. Uh, the people who bought the album supported this channel. If you'd like to support it too, please go to bandcamp.com, look up the band Asanoki, and buy the album Ants in the Pantry. I thank you so much. 
All right, guys, you take care. Until the next one, I will see you later. Bye-bye. Thank you.